Prescription for Health is brought to you by Scott and White Hospital, a world of healing. A Temple couple and their daughter's pulmonologist last week spoke before the state Senate Finance Committee urging lawmakers to pass and fund mandatory infant screening for cystic fibrosis. CF is a genetic disease that leads to chronic lung infections and an early death. But the earlier it's diagnosed, the better chance a child has to live a longer, healthier life. That's the focus of tonight's Prescription for Health. Can I listen to you? No. Oh, no, please. <laughs> okay, where should I listen first? Um, your nose? No. No. Yeah, I did. Right where? Macy Martin knows all too well that her doctor should be listening to her lungs. The three-year-old has been in and out of doctor's offices since she was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at four months old. CF causes thick, sticky mucus to build up in the lungs and digestive system, leading to chronic lung infections and difficulty digesting food and nutrients. That's what was making Macy so sick during her first months before diagnosis. Her body had deteriorated badly in that first four months. The doctors tried to figure out what was wrong with her and she was just very sick. Uh, she did not grow, she didn't gain weight. Her body was so malnourished that it swelled. If they're malnourished, then clearly they can't fight infection very well. Dr. John Sato says studies show nutrition is key to increasing CF patients' longevity. And the sooner a child is diagnosed with CF, the sooner the child can be started on nutrition and therapy programs. That's why he's lobbying for infant screening in Texas. The long view of this is the child or the infant that is recurrently sick ultimately will see doctor visits and doctor visits and be hospitalized several times. And so the cost to our health care system is going to be tremendous when we talk about caring for these children, when we can take that ounce of prevention early on. Macy uses this vibrating vest to break up mucus in her body and takes a lot of medicines to aid in digestion. She thinks it's just part of normal life. But what she doesn't know is that her parents and doctor are fighting very hard to create normal and better lives for others. The infant screening test costs four bucks. It's looked upon as another advancement in the fight against CF. And just look at how much progress has been made. In 1955, the average age of survival was five years old. It's now 37. Help Macy and others with cystic fibrosis. The 2007 Great Strides Walkathon in Temple is Saturday, March 31st. Yes, that is the same day as Race for the Cure, but it's later in the day. It benefits the CF Foundation of Central Texas. You can find out more information by going to kcentv.com and clicking on news links.